Welcome to Worth the Watch, I'm your host Nico Cuevas and today we are talking about the new Michael Bay film 13 Hours The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. Now of course 13 Hours is based on the true events back in 2012 in Benghazi, Libya. Now of course this event has put through all sorts of controversy and debate. And with the presidential elections looming, this could have easily made a really big political statement. But luckily the movie focuses completely on the events in Libya instead of all of the politics surrounding it. This movie does not have a message of who you should vote for. But after watching it, it will definitely bring up the conversation. Now currently Michael Bay is really known for his big blockbuster films like Transformers. Michael Bay is known for explosions and scale and, and more style over substance. Now this film of course has a lot of action, it is sort of a war film in a way, but 13 Hours is great evidence and proof that Michael Bay does know what he's doing. Seeing what Michael Bay can do with a small intimate story reminds you why he's in the place he is today. Now take my opinion with a grain of salt, I'm a huge fan of war films, I'm a sucker for them. And if you enjoy war films like Lone Survivor or American Sniper that have released lately, I think you will definitely like 13 Hours. The main difference between 13 Hours and Lone Survivor and, and American Sniper is by the end of the movie you're not feeling like, oh I'm proud to be an American. I mean you sort of feel that way, but the big feeling is man, violence, war, uh, corruption, all that stuff sucks and, and it, it's a horrible thing. And you feel thankful for the people who are willing to step up and put themselves in those awful situations. In that sense, this movie reminds me a lot of David Ayer's film Fury. Honestly, I did not expect to get as emotionally involved or attached to this film as I did. By the time I walked out of the film, I felt very down and and and, and sad, honestly. And I can't tell you the last time that has happened to me while watching a Michael Bay film. Congrats to Michael Bay and John Krasinski, who you might know as Jim from The Office. By the end of this film, John Krasinski really delivers a really great powerhouse performance. Honestly, after watching this movie, I would love to see John Krasinski in some more dramatic roles. John Krasinski's performance and a tasteful tribute in the end make 13 hours worth a watch. But if you're not into war or violence, I suggest you stay very, very far away from this film. But for more great content like this, you can check out FoxRadioNetwork.com and hit me up on Twitter at Nico Sestings or the company at Twitter at Fox Radio Network. Let us know what you think about 13 Hours. We want to hear back from you. And until then, I will see you later. Take it easy.